Welcome back to Dorking Tech Tips. Today we will be showing you how to download your system transactions and where to go to view them in the DKS Cloud. With the software open, the first thing you'll need to do is receive transactions. So go ahead and click the Receive Trans in the top toolbar. You should now see the Receive Transactions pop up. Go ahead and select your account by check marking the box on your account's line. Then click the OK to start the process. Once the Receive Transactions has completed, go ahead and click on Transactions under your account folder on the left to bring up all the current transactions you just received. Now on the Transactions page, you should see all your current transactions. Let's take a look at the transaction header and go over what the different columns mean. The first three columns deal with the entry system you are looking at, the date of the transaction, and the time the transaction occurred at the unit. These three are the easy ones in the log. The next column tells us what happened. There can be several things that show up here. The most common ones will be entry code, cards, and directory. These all deal with your residence. Other things might be modem or RS-232, which typically indicate an upload or download of data. If there are hold open schedules, you may see hold begin and hold ends. The last one I like to mention is open request, which comes from the postal input on the circuit board. The number column, NUM for short, will show up when an entry code, card, or directory code was inputted at the system, and show you which code or card number that was used or directory that was dialed at the unit at that time. The name column does just that, gives you the name of the resident or vendor the number is registered to. For the most part, the access column will say admit, indicating access was granted. However, you might also see denies indicating no access was granted. Other things in the column would be release, RELS, and hold. These are used with hold schedules indicating a door or gate is being activated. The relay column lets us know what relay was activated on the system. Relays are your doors and gates. These can be labeled with custom names for your property. Please see our other video on how to label your relays as this will make the software easier to use. The last column is APB which stands for anti-passback. This column is mostly not used however if using anti-passback this is where you would see your card violations recorded for your facility. Congratulations you've made it to the end of this video. You should now be able to receive transactions, view your transactions, and understand what you are looking at in the transaction log. Please see our other video how-tos, and we'll see you next time for more Dorking Tech Tips.